I'm Bob Stroud. I'm a radiologist with Advanced Radiology in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, I work in the hospitals a fair amount, and um, we uh, learned from one of our sort of challenges. We were thinking about uh, devices that are left in patients at operation and calls from the operating room to look for retained surgical objects. Uh, and we were asked to find a laparotomy pad and we thought we knew what that looked like on an x-ray because there was an x-ray in the operating room, but it turns out we didn't. And it stimulated us to think about what each of these objects looks like radiographically. And in fact, as we looked into this, depending on who you buy all these things from, they can look different. The portion that is radiopaque that we want to look for can be different in the same device by different vendors. So we got together a group of operative uh, representatives, nurses, surgeons, our people, and made a list of, I think, 10 or 15 things they might leave in a patient that they would do an x-ray for. And we asked a student who rotated through our department to make a series of x-rays of those devices. And then we collected all those images and put them in one digital file. So we have a list or sort of an atlas of the things that we might try to look for on an x-ray uh, for retained surgical objects. And so now if we have a call uh, and they do identify what that object is, we have a little atlas that allows us to know what a laparotomy pad looks like um, because uh, it didn't look the way we thought it was supposed to be. And in fact, ours has a little radiopaque tape on the edge of it. So we learned that. And we think that makes us better at uh, helping our surgical colleagues. And it was a nice little step forward. Not an original idea, but I think each hospital has different sorts of things depending on the vendor they use for those uh, devices. So a uh, simple lesson that hopes to make us uh, better. Mm -hmm.